Okay, so this is for Gemini's bonus. So hi Gemini's, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing very well on this Tuesday. Let's see what the energy takes us today. All right, so this is going to be your bonus message, all right? So let's see what we have for you. Gemini's, Gemini's. Now, if this message does resonate, Gemini's, remember to like your video. Give your video a big thumbs up here on the channel. Support your videos by liking and also commenting in the comment section in supporting each other. All right, so let's see what we have for you. Because I feel like there is going to be a discovery. Not only that, why am I picking up like soulmate connections or some kind of contract relationship? Um, I'm feeling like you're going through a lot, but this is uh, energy that you feel that you're supposed to be here. Like you just know like it's something about this person, even though they're coming off as the five of swords, deceitful, very much a huge liar. But of course, we have freedom of will in this physical life. And this person is just coming off like, you just know them. This is the energy that I'm feeling. Let's see. Okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I feel like whatever this is, you guys, I'm getting like this energy like you're not ready to give up. You're not ready to give up on this romantic connection between you and this person. Okay, give your relationship a chance. I feel like this it's more to it though. I feel like this is a soul tie connection. So let's see what we have here. What we have here. Thank you, angels, universe, ancestors, our highest divine, our Lord and Savior. What is the energy for Gemini bonus? What is the energy for Gemini bonus? I feel like there was a tower moment um, between you and this person. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Six of Cups in reverse. We have the High Front. So codependency is also showing up here, but there is going to be a breakthrough or understanding, some form of understanding between you and this person. And I'm also seeing the fact that there is going to be, oh my gosh, it's like... I'm seeing the Six of Cups, so clearly this person is, is showing up as someone that is has unfinished business with you. You know, this person is saying, hey, I need to return. But there is this energy of, like, I'm going to succeed. Why am I feeling like someone is expecting to? Like, if you're not careful, I'm hearing someone is going to ex be expecting or um, someone is already pregnant or something. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so you have the world in reverse confirm that this person is need to return because the way things ended was very incomplete. So the tower that I was feeling, like, you know, it's 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 showing up here. Okay. Then we have the high priestess. We have the hermit energy. You know what? I'm gonna put the hermit energy right over here. Okay, so we have the ace of pentacles. So we have two aces so far, the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles. All right, so we have the queen of swords. How interesting, very strong energy. I feel like you guys are going to have a huge form of commitment um, conversation. I feel like this person, like you, the energy that I'm picking up is that you are so powerful right now that you just want this person to understand what you're looking for. Look at that, we have the lovers as well that this is not going to be a long process of separation. Even the lovers are in the upright and letting me know that this person is returning. Like they cannot stop thinking about you and you are all over the place with your emotions as well. So I feel like you're trying not to have everybody see what you're up to, but you are very much in this energy of worry. Like you're worried about this, this connection. Okay, and I don't feel like you want to end this. You just don't. You just want this person to actually change. And you're going to have your wish. You're going to have your wish. Yeah, because you're look at what you're dealing with. The, the page of swords. This person is acting like they're clueless. They're acting like they're clueless. Okay. Wow, the moon is also showing up. Tell me more. 
Now you have two. You have the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So just know that you're going to freak yourself for whatever you're, this person is putting you through. But I feel like when I'm looking at the world in reverse, I'm getting like this energy of like something is incomplete with you and this person. And there's a lot of independence that was took. A lot of money that you have lost within this connection as well. This is what I'm seeing with the Nine of Pentacles up here and also the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, you're looking at this person like, oh God, you need some time apart. But this is someone that is also letting me know that this could be a past life situation. With the Six of Cups, it's kind of like this fam familiar energy between you and this person, right? You have this familiar energy. You don't know what it is, but you just feel the safest. You can't explain it with this person. For some reason, you always find yourself back together you always come back together you don't know why what are you doing oh my god this is over and over again what is going on here and it tends like you don't move forward but you just like when you're together and you're planning your life you're the most happiest but you just want to actually experience this with this person you know experience the bliss with this energy and this what worries you you know you're all over the place when you're not together you're wondering if this person is seeing someone else you're wondering if they moved on um, this is going to hurt you because you definitely have this huge, huge connection, not only with the High Priestess, but you have it in the Six of Cups. You know, a lot of things that have happened, even if it's not into this life, it's into a past life where you feel really connected to this person. Even though you might know this person for a year, you feel like you know them for 10. It's just so, so hard to explain to other people. They might not understand it, so don't try to explain it to them. But my advice to you as a reader is to live your truth. Live how you want to live not in fear of worrying oh my god you know is this person going to hurt me um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go back to this person i love them i'm gonna love them from afar but they're gonna hurt me that's that's making a decision in fear no one is telling you to stay in a relationship that is abusive and anything like that but sometimes we're here to experience things that are kind of uncomfortable you know we're not we didn't make a contract to come here to be comfortable and to live in bliss that's when we're in the spiritual we are we're always going to live in bliss in the spiritual right but here we're here to experience being uncomfortable we're here to learn um and this is a form of what that is okay and you're here to learn that that experience with each other it's 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 over and over again and sometimes we kind of change places you know like this person might treat you like this in this life and then you know karma your karma is then the next life comes around and you know you're treating them like this you know so it's like that's and they have to intake that and learn from that and and see how they were treating you it's like a karmic flow right but that's a whole nother video but anyways y'all <laughs> Then we have <clears throat> the Four of Cups here. So again, you know, this person is acting like they're bored, like you're not too interested, and this is the problem, and I feel like they're in and out, they're not quite as 100% in this relationship, and I feel like you're looking at this person in Six of Wands like, oh my God, this is not what I want within a person. Not only that they're not around, but the fact that they're not even doing much for themselves. You know, this is what I'm feeling here. Like, you're just looking at this and you're like, wow, this person doesn't have a lot going for them. Why am I drawn to this person? And they're coming off as cold and they're coming off as not a big deal and making you feel like whatever you feel is just unnecessary. You know, this is what I'm feeling with this page of swords here. They're acting like they don't know the facts. They're acting like they don't have the information that they need. They're acting like they're de delusional, okay? Like, oh, that, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. You need to stop that. You're making things being in a character. You know, you're taking things to the next level, you know. But there's going to be a breakthrough here. There's going to be clarity. There's going to be a change. The angels are actually showing this person and releasing their energy so they can grow. And I feel like, you know what, it might not occur when you are with this person. But I feel like when this person returns, you're not going to realize who this person is or recognize them. Because you're like, wow, you really. The first thing I'm seeing, like, when you're having a discussion with this person, it's like, wow, you really change. You really change. You're not the same person that I left. That you know, that I, I don't talk to anymore. You really grew up. So I feel like there was a lot of codependency in this relationship, but I'm seeing like there is an energy of trying to be successful within their lives. And I feel like this is you here. You felt like you had to distance yourself from this person. And you have to find yourself spiritually because you know what? I feel like a lot of you been with this person for such a long time going back and forth. You kind of lost the respect for yourself. This is what I'm seeing in a nine of um, pentacles. 
lost your value this doesn't even just talk about money you know and being on top of the world and being very financially independent i just feel like there's a lot of loss here a lot of things that wasn't um fulfilled in your life and this person kind of like blocked that from happening and i feel like you had to like really really dive in and take control with an emperor and just like have this huge form of strength that comes in a lot of you could be dealing with an aries or a leo or a sag but this is Aries energy for me. Also, this is um, Cancer for some of you. We also have Gemini, Aquarius, and um, what is it, Taurus, and Leo at the very end of the world, okay? But I feel like you're really determined to find your way. And this codependency as well doesn't even have to be your person. This could be you as well. So keep it as it resonates. I mean, you I, from the from the nine of pentacles, you know, losing your power, losing yourself, you know, then codependency here and really being this determined to get yourself back on track, you know, determined to get your back in a spiritual um, alignment, you know, understanding. And that is you. But there's so many things that are happening while you're doing that. Then I'm seeing the, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you are deciding to go to a separation, you know, like splitting. If you guys are married, because I'm getting the high front, I'm getting the Ace of Pentacles. doesn't have to be, but there's a, a huge form of disconnect here with this person. It's like, it's like you're separating your, your financial matters, you're separating your house, your, your stability. Some of you might have a child with this person. Um, for some of you might be expecting because I felt that that energy in the beginning and the angels are saying like this is going to be a conversation that you're going to put yourself your feet down finally and stand up for yourself but I don't feel like you're going to be cold I don't feel like you know the queen of swords in the upright is going to be like all about them what they want at this moment I feel like you're trying to be very emotional even though you're not coming off as you know being emotional and that's your energy too gem so and look at that we have gemini here in the lovers so you're definitely feeling some kind of way some kind of way within this relationship you want it to be you want it to work you know you do but you're letting this person know what you want and if that's okay with that person then cool and i don't feel like this person wants to separate you know they don't want to separate within the lovers i mean they want to be with you but they're very much, um, you know, like they like they don't like to be controlled. And you're coming off as a sign that has authority, okay? And you're like acting like the judge and jury. So what say what you say goes, you know? And they don't like that. So I feel like with this card, it's like give your relationship a chance. It's like compromise. This is what I'm hearing to compromise. But I'm also seeing here that you have the Queen of Wands, you have the Moon, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like this person is making preparation to make you feel safe and secure in this relationship. But it's going to take some hard work. It's going to take some time to get this balance back on track. I'm feeling like if you don't feel safe to trust your intuition because your intuition is your, your, your alignment with the universe. So it's they're talking to you through dreams. They're trying to lead you in a, in a really positive, good place. This is what I'm seeing here. I need to trust in that energy within the moon so a lot of Pisces energies around you and you're really open look at you you're looking like a beautiful goddess uh, female or male doesn't even matter masculine feminine energy but you're showing up as a, just a powerful person with this beam of light around them so Aries Leo or Sag you could be a Leo um, moon or some kind of fire moon but you're definitely showing up as you're just like very empowered very determined and that's what i was feeling here like there is just nobody that's going to take you off of the track and you're all about making um really positive and you know right decisions you know this is why you're into that energy of trying to find yourself you're trying to make better decisions and you're not trying to make you know a decision that you're going to look back on and say damn i made the wrong move again you know you want to make all the right moves but you're going through your lesson you're going through you know that vibe but listen to your intuition because this is going to only make you fall into some kind of depression and I feel like the angels are saying this because, look, the high priestess is not in the upright. It's just not listening to the intuition here. You know, you're trying to find answers on your own very quietly. This is what I'm seeing here. So tell me more. Okay, so you have let your friends help you. For those of you, okay, let people in. But not people that are going to talk down on your relationship. 
playfulness remember to have joy remember to have be free remember to have fun within your relationship don't take things so seriously sometimes the angels want you to just experience life and bliss and love you know what i mean they don't want you to be um you know all worn out and all burnt out this is not why you're here you're here to experience these things because you can't experience them in a, in a spiritual world but you should have fun while you're experiencing things, right? So we have the Eight of Swords. I feel like all of this drama, you're going to let that go. You're not going to be in this energy that um, you're going to be like, I don't feel like you're going to be stuck. Like, this is not what that, that is all about. I feel like with this Eight of Swords, you're going to release yourself. Why do they seem like there's not going to be, like this person is going to tell you everything? I feel like... You're just going to come to this conclusion on your own. Ooh, the hermit. I'm getting like the hermit is an energy where you're trying to get to a better place. And when you get there, then this um, high priest, this energy will actually be in the upright. I feel like everything that you're experiencing is not going to be a long-term situation. So um, tell me about this, angels, please. What's the message here? Yes. So you're going to be happy again. This is what the angels are saying, but you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have you're going to have two options. This is what I'm seeing here when it comes to love. So just know that you're not going to be in this in this energy for a long time. Don't stop. Don't stop believing. Don't stop loving. Don't stop fighting. Don't stop going for what you want. Okay. The angels want you to move. Keep on moving. Peaceful resolution. I'm also seeing conversation between you and this person. And if you decide to end this connection, I don't feel like it's going to be ended on a path where you're not talking to each other anymore. Because I love the fact that I saw a lot of communication and it's like the Queen of Swords. And that's a huge form of communication. Plus you have the Ace of Swords here. So um, communication is open. Wow, the situation will improve. Look at that. Look at that. We have a lot of beautiful energy coming towards you. Ooh, big and happy changes are coming your way. And the angels need you to take action. Okay, so stand up for yourself. Don't let anyone put you in a box. This is what I'm seeing here. Let's do one more card for the romance card. Because I feel like even though you're going through something that is horrible, obviously, but it's all it's also about experiencing this life with this person, this journey with this person. Alright? So tell me about this. The Gemini. Wow. Deception. Mm. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Wow. So we have the Five of Swords. Okay. So I feel like this person has a lot of deceit that they're hiding from you a lot of things a lot of jealousy that they're experienced with with within this energy and they're not sharing it and this is what's making this very difficult because i'm seeing deceit i'm seeing lies i'm seeing betrayal and this is something that this person often do this is what i'm seeing until the point of no return so they don't they don't know when to stop and this is why they're coming off as a past energy and this is why they had to go okay and again when you talk about it, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do that. I didn't say that. <laughs> wow. All right. So one more. One more to close this. Mm. Wow. Okay. So the angels are letting you know it is safe for you to love. Okay. So don't close your heart. This is what they're saying. Don't close your heart. This is an experience for you. All right. But it's safe for you to love. But if you're going to even embrace this person, which I feel like there's so much on on like finished business here in this reading you guys that it's safe for you to love don't make um decisions by fear because fear is you're going to have unfinished business you know you're gonna you don't want to have unfinished business and then something happens god forbid and you can't proceed and you can't experience you know with this this person right so you need to make sure that you're making decisions based on love and not fear not because you're running away and oh my god this person can hurt you and can destroy you no one can destroy you except for yourself that's why it's so important to build self love for yourself because you're going to have to go through this you're going to have to go through this, but if you're not have self love for yourself, you're it's going to make it difficult for you to be able to let go and to let God and to surrender, right? So this is what I have for you, Gemini's. When it comes to your bonus, I hope that it resonates, and I will see you guys in your next read. Bye, guys.